we are fresh out of the A Cold Wall Spring Summer 20 show. Um, creative director Samuel Ross, as I'm sure you all know. Um, invites came with this fantastic um, bandana, which I will demonstrate here for you now, um, with instructions to wear during the show for safety. Um, I didn't see one person wearing this bandana. Um, I think it's partly because of you and I just looked doing that. Um, but um, And there was no need really anyway, um, but often what happens at a Cold War show is there's lo lots of performative elements that tie in with um, Samuel's fascination with architecture. Um, he hasn't studied architecture, he studied graphic design, but apparently he is going to be studying architecture very soon. So how he'll slot that around um, his designs, I'm not sure. He's many, many th fingers in all the pies. Um, but it's interesting to see that um, future collections will have his architecture degree in mind, so that's always very interesting. Um, but I digress. So, um, as I said, lots of uh, Cold War collections are themed around architecture. The phrase a Cold War um, is a comment on the class system and, um, and how architecture can often be a rep representative of um, class injustice. Um, and this collection was presented at Printworks, which is a club in London, um, previously a printing factory for newspapers. Um, so super fantastic industrial space, lots of bars and um, production lines and you can imagine it's a fully working um, factory so there's uh, bar bars at the top where you're viewing stations and we were down below and um, big fans all set the scene and I'm guessing the bandana was uh, protective um, against any dust but really there wasn't so it was fine um, rather interestingly last season uh, huge performative elements the barking live dogs, people crawling through tar and oil, um, some really um, showy pieces as well, kind of glass structures. Um, but Samuel was saying last season that he was really trying to listen to the customer. And um, often when you think of a brand trying to progress themselves or trying to move forward, they try and think of um, something that can be the most outlandish or the most, how can I push this further? And often that means pushing it into something a little bit um, extraterrestrial or something a little bit too performative. And Samuel's doing the opposite. He's really listening to the customer, really listening to viewers, really listening to feedback. And last season he was saying, I really just want to trim the fat and make sure these clothes at the end of the day are wearable and desirable, which ultimately um, is why we're all here. Um, so this collection was even more refined um, to the point of real success, I actually thought. So performative element was um, basically null and void, aside from the fans and a few water spritzes that we got <laughs> intermittently. Um, this was a much more pared back affair um, and I think that was one of the great successes of this collection. Um, so clothes wise, uh, the whole collection was relatively split into four or five sections. Um, the main jumping off points of this collection were clay, lead, water and glass. So that's how they came out. So clay, lead, water, glass. Um, and the first looks were in these wonderful beige tones and the idea behind this clay section is really thinking about um, memory fabrics and how clothes react to the body and that clay is such a malleable material how can they, these clothes really morph with the form it's all about the human form of these opening looks um, these were really muted some really beautiful crinkle cut trousers i really like the trainers this season as well um, jackets were a lot more um, a lot more a lot more simple simpler um, and much less um, kind of three-dimensional structures coming off there. However, saying that, the accessories were still really um, clunky and three-dimensional, which is kind of a signature of Samuel's. Um, these ones reminded me of something that looked like they'd just been pulled from the ground, the big, clunky, lumpy boulders. Um, and indeed, the whole first section really reminded me of kind of a Mars exploration, which I really liked. And actually, the bandana is quite um, Mars exploration. I'm thinking of that like a uh, dystopic film. Max something Mad Max, quite Mad Maxy, um, but I, as I say, dystopic. This certainly wasn't. Last season was very much um, trying to deal with difficult times and different difficult, difficult climbs, and how do we deal with that, and how does human and social um, commentary react to that? But this was much, much more optimistic. I'm really focusing on the material and how humans interact with the material. So the lead section gets. Um, a little darker, a little deeper, some really beautiful prints as well. Um, slight weakness in the lead section were these odd kind of chin straps. Um, they felt a little bit stuck on, and um, to me anyway. Um, and I'm, I wasn't sure if they elevated the collection and often um, when you're doing all these wonderful performative um, nuances and there's these odd little moments that kind of remind you of the narrative, um, these kind of took away from the narrative for me. I was completely lost in these Mars rovers and then uh, the, the lead was a little bit of a takeaway, but um, I really appreciate 
the actual placement of the material in the collection. I liked that. I just wish it wasn't in that form. Um, and then water, as we were saying earlier, we got a little bit of a water spritz, which I really enjoyed. Felt like I was um, at like 4D cinema. Um, and the clothes start getting bluer, slightly more tonal. Um, some really lovely long line jackets, um, almost in Macintosh shapes. Um, and here there's some, some slightly odd structural ones as well, which kind of hark back to quite a few seasons ago actually where he's got tops that have really big loops and cut out where you can kind of put your arm through different things so there's still an element of slightly um, out of the huge London menswear um, aesthetic but ultimately this collection was really um, really stripped back and I don't mean that in a negative I don't mean that it was um, overly minimal I just mean um, m most buyers will look at this and think wearable and digestible and, and brilliant and you can really tell that he's been listening to what his clients and consumers really want um, and ultimately that needs to be um, something they can wear on the street or to work or um, any which way but um, I really thought the finish of everything was really lovely. I also really appreciated the lack of logo um, in earlier seasons um, the Ocobo logo was um, kind of chucked, not chucked, not flippantly chucked but it was very prevalent everywhere and I really appreciate that um, the toning down of the logo to me that signifies a real confidence in Samuel and that the clothes kind of speak for themselves and that you would instantly recognise them as a cold wall um, without the need for the logo. I do I do um, love the logo, I love seeing it on the bags and there's some really beautiful knitwear where it featured as well um, but I'm really pleased to see less of it because it, to me that shows a real progression in the brand um, and just generally I think this show was a real progression for the brand. Yeah, it was the most articulate we've seen Samuel and you know if you think of the beginnings of a cold wall when people didn't know kind of what force Samuel was to be reckoned with, yeah. um, the kind of spring, summer and autumn into 15 where was, he just released photos of some boys and some sitting against some material but really that material was very sculptural and there. there was a real power to that simplicity and it's quite exciting to see Samuel go back there again because actually quite often we've heard throughout all of London actually all the designers saying we want to communicate less and when we do we want to do it better mm. like we that was kind of the opening statement with art school saying we don't you know we're not tweeting da, da, da. and the designers who have been very vocal are starting to, to look at another side in a way of when it's right and when it's not well, not that it's never right it's always right to be vocal but when you should let things speak for themselves yes yeah. and I think learning that in any business as a person is pretty integral and Samuel's had a lot of success very early in a career so the fact he's showing that prowess now of knowing when to just let his work speak for him and his actions speak I think is really really incredible yeah it's hard to it's hard to believe that uh, like two or three seasons ago we had kind of the birthing of man yeah <laughs> um, and now this feels so much more paired back but um, I think so there's much stronger yeah I think there's a real strength knowing that you've come from there and like you, you know that you can, you don't necessarily have to have that fan fight. You can stand behind your clothes and say, yeah. "I totally appreciate that you were with me for this, but I want yeah. you to be with me for this as well." Yeah, and I think also he invited, he did a raffle for his on his Instagram. Was it on his Instagram? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, he did a raffle, and people who actually bought a cold wall could come watch. So you know, almost us as press were with with the middleman technically, and we've been cut out. So actually, just to show that, not just to us. But to the people who are actually buying them clothes and buying the clothes and saying, these are the clothes, Yeah. this is the music and this is the sound of the collection, but that's it, I thought was just really, really incredible. You know, it's yeah. brave. Yeah. And he came up barefoot, which I thought and was amazing. And he came up barefoot, which was brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, I really love that there was the public watching because, I mean, you sometimes do get public for show, public invited to shows, but I think it's it really means more with with Samuel it's it's he's a sharing such a people's, of knowledge. it's such a he's such a people person yeah and as we were saying earlier yeah you're quite right sharing of knowledge and for him it's all about the reaction he gets from the people that wear it yeah and to get that immediate reaction from the people who are wearing it out of the show I think is a really smart idea yeah and really in keeping with the ethos of the brand I think um so in case you didn't gather we were very, rather thrilled with the <laughs> cold war show um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Lots more to come. And um, thank you guys very much for watching our Cold War review. Um, we'll be back with many more. Please do subscribe. Um, London may be coming to an end, as I've said, but there's lots more to come. So um, get those notifications in your inbox by subscribing. Um, we'll see you very soon.